month, Mars One began a major new funding drive. It's a raffle offering a lucky individual the chance to go on a suborbital space flight aboard the X-Core Lynx Mark II space plane. The campaign is called Ticket to Rise and is being hosted on the Urgency Network platform, which specialises in offering once-in-a-lifetime opportunities in exchange for contributing to a worthy cause. If you'd like a free entry to the raffle, I've posted a promotional code in the video description down below, but if you want to increase your chance, you can go onto the Urgency Network platform, you can watch various videos for free, share the link to the campaign, or purchase Mars One merchandise. The campaign has already raised over $40,000, and it's still got over a month left. This money will primarily be used in order to fund the construction of the 2015 simulation habitat, which forms a vital component of Mars One's astronaut selection and training process. So if you want to find out more about the campaign, check out the website over here. The beginning of this month saw the deadline for the University Design Competition and the beginning of the first round voting process. There are currently 35 proposals being considered for the coveted 2kg payload slot on Mars One's 2018 lander. And I do have to say, there has been an excellent range of proposals so far, all the way from atmospheric science to biology, chemistry, radiation, geology, just to name a few. And now it's up to members of the Mars One community platform to decide which proposals pass the first cut. And you can check out the full list of payload proposals down below. This month also saw the incredibly exciting news that NASA has awarded a $2.6 billion contract to SpaceX to send astronauts to the space station from 2017 in their Dragon capsule. And actually the news broke only one day after I'd finished filming my video on SpaceX, which you can check out over here. Uh, talk about rapid developments. But this is excellent news for Mars One, as it will likely be the Dragon that will be used for the human missions. And after all, cheap, reusable, reliable access to space can only be a boon to Mars One's ambitious goals. So I'd like to wish SpaceX all the best, and hopefully we'll see many more successes in coming years. On September 7th, this channel hosted the first Mars One Astronaut Candidates Live event, which was a fantastic success. On behalf of the 10 candidates, I'd like to thank everyone who tuned in and offered questions, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as we had fun making it. I'm certainly keen to run more live events in the future, particularly once the interviews are announced and we start moving towards round three of the selection process, so keep an eye out on this channel for future announcements of live events. Now I'd like to give a special mention to another Mars One candidate who is attempting a most audacious feat. Benjamin de Jersey Moore, who you might remember from last week's video, is currently undertaking a month-long challenge to eat only what the Mars One colonists will have available to them. And yes, that includes insects. You can check out his Mars Diet series over on his YouTube channel. Best of luck to you, Ben. Finally, I'm going to be participating in a public Mars One event at the Settle Stories Festival in Settle, Yorkshire on October 11th, along with Hannah from last week's video. We'll be discussing Mars One with an astronomer, answering public questions, and talking about what we'll be bringing to Mars with us. There's even going to be a spaceship design competition for younger audiences, so plenty of fun for all the family. If you'd like to reserve tickets, I've posted a link down below, and it would be great to meet some of you there. Well, that's all for this month, and term is about to start again here in Oxford, so videos will be less frequent until around mid-December. But that being said, don't despair, as Mars One mission updates will be coming out in the last week of October and the last week of November at the very least, and the second that round two interviews are announced, I'll make a special video on the spot about them. Until then, I'll see you next time.